Okay, Dawn back again. Well, we're going to try it a little more. Just can't seem to give up tonight. Um, yeah, it's 12.08 now. I was going to quit at about 10.30. But here I am. All right, so um, here's my screenshots. And uh, of what I've been doing, you know, some of this editing you can't do while you're making a video. And actually, the last video crashed on me, and I knew when, when I, what I've got in video from the last one is way before when I realized it was crashing. So I think when I was editing the scene collections and stuff there, this is the screenshot, so uh, it must have started kill, killing it, and I just didn't know it. Um, so that is where I was getting, uh, where I hit stop recording there is what I did. So yeah, you got to use the arrow keys, I guess. Well, there's a button up here, but that's even more fiddly to mess with. Okay, so I hit stop recording, took a great screenshot, and oh, I was trying to stop it. That's when it was when I realized that it was uh, hung hung up. So I tried to hit stop recording. That's what that is. And the one before that, well, that was just a previous, you know, when I was trying to get it to stream. Okay, so yeah, I hit stop recording, but it didn't work. It didn't respond. I had to kill it in the end. I uh, went into the uh, system monitor, and uh, I don't see the screenshots, but I, I, I killed it. That's what I did in process. Uh, just end OBS, and then it automatically ended the FFmpegs uh, muxer. They, uh, they call it mux. And, uh, that's the that's the encoder. I don't know why they call it mux. There's mux and demux, though. That's words they use, and I guess they're synonym, synonyms of encode and decode. I'm um, not sure why they use mux, but anyway, there's where my file is down there, uh, and I want that's where it was saving to because when I made my new profile, I didn't remember to you know check the settings, and so I went ahead and uh, and I checked. Uh, I waited until it changed uh, from 737, 1137 to 1138 before I decided that I was looking at the file at that time just to see if there was if it was still recording or if it had if the interface had frozen up or the whole program was just not even recording anymore because it the interface freezes up some uh, almost every, every time I use it on Mom's AMD uh, 8300 system that I built uh, and uh, but it's still recording. <coughs> <clears throat> so, uh, there's something weird about it not working right with AMD processors, I think. Or it could be that motherboard, that ASRock. I bought a new Zeus motherboard, M5A78LM+. Plus. That's what I'm looking at the box. Yeah, I'm not that good. Okay, so uh, there's where I killed it. Okay, getting ahead of myself. And so then I decided, well, I'm going to move it in the right folder. And then... Uh, I exported that profile <coughs> and for you know have a backup of it that brand new profile that I just made a while ago and, I, and um, what I discovered was that uh, that profile is the default was set to Twitter not Twitter something twitch the gaming streaming platform and of course there was no no credentials or anything put in there no login put in there <clears throat> and so no wonder it, but i don't think that's why the app's crashing still uh i got to think well maybe that's why it's crashing maybe it just happens to crash when it tries to log in and can't but like i said well i thought about that earlier today <clears throat> and i've had that when i was first uh you know learning how to set it up it it would just say i can't log in you know can't log into your deal you need to check your settings didn't crash but uh so I exported that. Then I imported the oldest one I got. Uh, I looked in my backups. I don't have anything older. If, it, if I do have anything older, it would be in my old machine. Actually, I don't think I, I know. Uh, if I had it in the old machine, it'd be because I, I, you know, exported it from the like the Windows Seven laptop. I did start out trying it on the Windows Seven laptop. I saw that in my blog post, and uh, it could only run a, a thirty minute, ten minutes to thirty minutes, and then it would overheat and shut itself down. Uh, just couldn't handle it, uh, but uh, so I uh, went in here and imported and got. They all have the same name though. 
Every one of those in that folder end up with the same name. Uh, but I think they might be slight variations of each other. Uh, I think they are. Uh, exactly what, I'm not sure. I guess if you went in, you'd have to go into the settings, I guess, to see. I kept looking at the scenes. That I thought they, I thought the scenes were stored in those profiles. I had completely forgot about the scene collection. So I guess the only differences would be like your log, your YouTube login and, and all, well, all the settings you've done in the settings area. Uh, there we go. I decided, okay, so I checked and I deleted where, you know, you can say show the, uh, the key, the stream key. Well, I deleted, I, I moved those out of this folder so I wouldn't be showing them to you. Um, and, uh, but I did check those. And then I uh, tried it again and it crashed. And so then, uh, what did I do it twice or something? Um, so then I selected my new profile and I went in there and see it's on Twitch by default. So I went in here and I selected YouTube. And see, there's all the others that you could choose from that's, that's built into the system. That I think you can do others. Um, well, yeah, I know you can because, see, there's streaming services and custom printing services and custom streaming server. You could stream to your own server and stream, you know, you could set up your own server and stream from it. I saw an article in OB, the OBS website about suggestions for uh, servers that they knew would work servers software that they knew would work this was actually for streaming uh, you can actually stream uh, multi-channel audio you can stream 5.1 7.1 um, there's a lot of different things you can do with OBS it's really cool uh, but boy this this first time I had this kind of trouble with it just flat can't figure something out you know it's usually just some kind of little bug of a thing that if you just change the settings back the way they were before you're back up and going again but i have not been able to get it going for I've, this is going to be the third or fourth full day i've tried you know it kind of skipped some days here and there working on it but i've just because it's still records so i've just been recording and uploading my videos and then uh, th with youtube you have the primary ingest server and the backup ingest or youtube ingest server and that's what i've been talking about a lot now Thought I'd show that uh, if you if you select the backup server then and I've done this I set that on mom's machine and then um, set this one as the primary I'd get started with my video and then uh, I would flip over to mom's machine because I wanted to show what I was doing on mom's machine but I didn't want to do it over remote desktop like I usually do and so then I would uh, I would stop this stream and it would automatically pick up the backup server running on mom's machine out of the backup uh, well <clears throat> okay it, I'm saying it wrong uh, the primary stream I would shut it down and so the other mom's machine was streaming to the backup ingest server and the and the YouTube server would automatically switch to that backup stream as the primary stream and actually I've switched back and forth you can do that you can later go start this one back up again and kill that one and then this one will take over I, I, it kind of was fun so anyway it's pretty cool what all you can do uh, and that wasn't hard you, you know the only thing you got to remember is um, is if you select the if you set your profile to uh, in, in your settings I mean to backup server then when you click start streaming it doesn't go live it just starts up as the backup stream uh x well let me think except i think if you um i could i got kind of turned around on this point but if you already have your other your primary stream running then you would start the, the backup one second right and that would all work like i just said but if you're on backup and you click start streaming i swear it just started streaming so uh, what then again so what's the point of having it differentiate you know well if you don't if you have two of them running as a primary stream then you would i think the second one would either not be able to start or it would start you up a second stream on your channel and you'd have two different streams running that's my, what might happen i know you can do that sometimes uh, because i know that because when i first uh, well i just i don't know what software they were using actually yeah i do they were using uh no, I can't remember. It's either XSplit or um, 
can't think of the other one. I just saw the names on my blog post. Now, the one I started, the one that YouTube suggested at the beginning was really hard to get working. Anyway, uh, if you've ever seen on, uh, if you like cars and you've ever, and hot rods, if you've ever seen uh, Hot Rod Drag Week, uh, uh, you know, once a year they do the Hot Rod Drag Week. Well, back 2016, I guess it was, when I started, uh, or maybe a little before that, uh, 2016 is when I discovered OBS. It was long before that when I uh, was trying to XSplit, and I can't think of the name of the other one. XSplit is the one that worked, and the other one's the one I couldn't get working. They had, you know, their professional video crew was doing it, and they were having trouble too. They were using XSplit because I remember they were having this. They had a, they were having a problem that I knew how to fix. <laughs> I remember that because I was already had already done it. And anyway, they, uh, um, they were they had two streams going at once. Is my point? What I was trying to say. And that's how come I knew all along that ever since I got started with it that it can be done. Because they were saying, if, if this stream is too busy, then go to this one. And they gave you two URLs to watch the live, same live stream. So uh, you can do that uh, if, you, if you really, you know, for that reason or to have a backup. And, well, that's a different kind of backup. The kind of backup stream I'm talking about is when if your stream, if your first machine fails or you just shut it off, then the other one takes over. So you wouldn't lose your stream. And with the beauty of that with me is because uh, I was using the Wi-Fi cameras, so it doesn't matter which machine. You know, there's no – if you, that's one thing if you're using, um, like, you know, USB cameras or something, well, the other machine's not going to have any cameras plugged into it, right? That was the one thing I had to remember is, well, I couldn't use my SM58 on Mom's machine. I had to use the Wi-Fi, uh, the uh, lapel mic and the camera, you know, the Wi-Fi, going over the Wi-Fi. It was the only difference is I had to use the lapel mic over the Wi-Fi uh, to, on her machine because I had no mic plugged into it. So, uh, so anyway, um, so I went ahead and put uh, I took that out where I was doing it and want to show that, but I put the uh, stream key in there. This is in the new profile I made, and uh, OB, uh, then I tried it. Uh, I didn't show the part where I was starting the stream, but there you see OBS is not running well. And I always know that's what I do after it crashes. So it still crashed, didn't fix it. Then I went looking through the uh, through the uh, settings again. And um, the bit rate was defaulted to 2,500. And I can't choose anything, but I don't have any other choice but X264. I was watching videos. If you have a certain hardware, you know, certain video cards and stuff, you can it may show up and you may be able to select hardware. This is software rendering and it uses the CPU. That's what I found out. Uh, it says software, and I wasn't paying that much attention. But uh, so software rendering uses your CPU. And uh, if you have a good video card, I don't uh, have an onboard video 256 megabytes, so there's no way I could do a video gpu rendering anyway but you can do gpu rendering of the video if you have a gpu capable of that <clears throat> and this was set to 160 uh, audio bit rate and that's what it was before and it all worked perfectly i was at 250 uh bits 200 2500 bits and i was at 160 uh this is kilo uh, kilobits they're both kilobits per second i think but anyway uh, the video bit rate was 2,500 by default, and that's what I've been running all along. I had no troubles before, and I was doing 160 on here, and I had no troubles there either. But I was set it to what YouTube. This is I got these numbers from YouTube today. So, and I have this. The default was to disable uh, advanced encoder settings, so <clears throat> I left it like that. And I'm also on this simple setup, uh, thinking that maybe that would help. Uh, Recording quality, same as the stream, and I set my destination where I wanted it saved. I left it on FLV. That's the only thing I haven't changed during all this today. I probably, I'm going to kick myself. I'm going to change it, and I'll kick myself if I <laughs> find out that's what was the problem now. But YouTube says it takes FLV. <coughs> but that doesn't mean it couldn't be a bug. <coughs> so... Um, now this was defaulted to 12. Uh, this is scaling down. And I finally, I found that out in watching one of the videos today. Uh, I said scaled resolution and it scaled down. Well, I had mine set on 19, 
the canvas is 1920 by 1080 and the scaled and the scale resolution was 1920 by 1080 so it didn't do anything uh, the bicubic is a good one there's uh, three ch choices there and the frames per second I left on 30 that should be fine and, uh, and so I changed it to 1920 by 1080 and then there's all three of them uh, the guy in the video he was using this he says he, he didn't say what his specs of his computer was which was playing so he really knew the settings and he spoke well didn't get tongue-tied like me but he never once said he just kept saying well if you have a lousy slow computer like me then uh, this is the best settings of what I've found and he's then he said if you know more than I do about this uh, let me know you know and all this stuff and uh, but he never once said whether he had a dual core I, I'm sure he didn't have a single core but he could he could have had a dual core a quad core like me an eight core people have eight cores and they call them lousy because they're not the highest end thing available you know so you know it's completely relative to your opinion so I wish he would have said what he was running I figure he was probably running something like what I got um, kind of just by the settings he was choosing I figure he's probably running something like a quad i5 quad core with four gig of RAM that is most of these now that's not a really uh, if it had a good video card that's not a really slow machine uh, by any by, it's a mid-range machine I would say but uh, by gamer standards that's a really show machine and he's a gamer he was streaming to twitch and he was showing how he could make his games look good and stream his games and make them look good and he was using 1080p too he wasn't going down to 720p he did mention going down to 720p he said if you can't do 1080p then go to uh, 1080 and he can and one thing he mentioned that i usually don't pay attention to he said when you change set different settings Look and see how the CPU is doing, and if it jumps up, he said, if it jumps goes up past ninety, then you're gonna have to change your settings. Well, heck, uh, you couldn't do anything. Well, of course, he was only doing two things: OBS and a game. But I'm doing a bunch of other programs. So, and you see, at that time, I was doing two point three. Well, I wasn't uh, recording at the time. I was just looking through the settings. <clears throat> but uh, we'll see here in a minute what what mine is actually doing. But I do I do look at it once in a while, but I do I pretty much forget. I watch the I look at the frame per second and see if it's varying a lot because it does vary some. And of course I look at the time, but uh, yeah the CPU usage I have but not recent. I got to where I don't pay much attention to it. So I set it like that. Uh, went ahead and set it on. Uh, oh I put it on bilinear. Did I do that? Maybe I just decided, I don't know, I think I decided to do what he, what he said, just see if it would help. But I think really the best one would be the bicubic sharpened scaling. If it, I think, um, <clears throat> because 32 bit, uh, the 32 uh, sharpened scaling with the 32 uh, samples per second or whatever, it would be whatever that represents. Would be too much for this machine i'm pretty sure and i did tell you what i'm running so <laughs> um yeah i changed it to that okay just to see if it would work well it didn't uh i, I have i've already tried N none of these settings worked but that's what i went ahead and put it on this is the advanced settings here i didn't change anything the only thing i did do is enable the stream delay uh, the rest of that, well, like I didn't go into any of this stuff either. I, I, oh, there was two pretty good videos that had things that I didn't already know all about uh, that I found. And most of them were nothing, to, no help. So um, then I kind of went back through, looked at the audio. That's still all on the defaults, and it seems fine. Uh, long, you know, everything's sh showing up that should, looks like. And... Uh, and I went through and just looked at all. And not, I have no delay set on anything. That's one of the place. One of the places you could set delays and stuff. And then back to the bit rate. And kind of looked it over again. Oh, this in, there's with the advance. Uh, and and he did go over that and explain the the meanings of these things. And uh, it's what I thought it was, but he kind of explained it in a way that made it a little bit more. He's experimented with it. Um. Recording quality, I would use same as stream. Uh, and uh, 
you could go higher, but I don't think my machine could handle it. Uh, let's see. Replay buffer. You, I'm not doing that. Uh, now, there's my settings that I've stuck with. And... Uh, The general tab. I didn't pay much attention to it. My eyes are blur blurry. I'm so tired. I can't even read it. Uh, that long list there. And I just kept going back through looking it over. And uh, now I'm back in the... And I exited the app there to make sure I saved those settings. Then I tried to start streaming. And uh, it takes a little longer to crash lately, which makes you think it might be going to work. Then it does. It crashes. So uh, that's the last of my screenshots there. <clears throat> and um, now here's where you go to get your stream key. You can uh, click reveal and you can copy and paste it in there. And that's the address. But with OBS, you don't even need to type that in there or copy and paste it. It's, you just select YouTube and it sends it to that. At least <laughs> unless something's gotten jacked up, but I don't think so. And it's right here on your, you know, live streaming page there. So that, it's down at the bottom of it. If you didn't already know that. Um, but yeah, I got, uh, I, I had forgotten to even look in there, uh, in those settings and everything. And, uh, let me think here. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Yeah, I, I have just thought in my head against even trying uh, a different output. <clears throat> See, I can't do that while I'm streaming, but I should. I mean, well, again, that's the, uh, okay, that is output. You know what? Uh, yeah, okay. No, that's recording format. Yeah, that's why I haven't done it. Recording format. That's not, um, so yeah, again, that has nothing to do with what your streaming output is. So, um, but, I mean, I haven't, it can't hurt to change it just to see what happens. So, I think I may do that. Um, and then I'm going to quit. I'll go back to advanced because uh, the only reason I thought of maybe simple might make it work is because, uh, what I saw in the logs for OBS, which it was some sort of looked like an error. It was I forget what logs I was in. Oh, it was the it was the crash report. It was in the crash report, and it was in the logs section of the crash report. I might ought to pour over that some more and really look into everything in great detail. Uh, also, I guess I could go and figure out why why I can't log in through that. I, that app, I think the ABRT bu automatic bug reporting app uh, to send reports because they might actually send me, give me some help. You know, the help, the, the, the programmers there might probably tell me it's got something to do with OBS and not Fedora, <clears throat> but never know. You never know. So I'm going to cancel that because I can't do that now. And uh, <clears throat> go ahead and close it and do that. I'm going to change the, in those settings that I, of the, uh, Output. Let's try something different. It can't hurt, that's for sure. And, uh, <coughs> yeah, I'm looking around just seeing what I got going and what's happening. Okay, so I'm going to stop here.